Hello, Patrick Walchuk here, and uh, for the month of April 2024, we're going to do a financial analysis on a building that's sold in Ottawa. And as you've been seeing in, in the past, we tried to select two buildings. This is the second of the two, and this one is in the commercial category uh, because it's a 10 unit building. So this was located in, call it central Ottawa, and it had a list price of $3,449,000 and it sold for $3,045,000. When I see that, you know, we're looking at a pretty significant spread between list and sell price. And so that could indicate that maybe after they negotiated uh, the original price, there could have been uh, some problems discovered during the inspection process, latent defects, and they amended it. I'm not saying it happened in this case, but it may have just because of the spread and they amended the price uh, a little bit after the fact during the conditional phase of the transaction. <clears throat> so this building had a scheduled rental income of 230 $6,000. It had an effective rental income, that's when you deduct 3% for vacancy and bad debt, by the way, uh, of $229,000. The stated operating expenses were $45,000. And then when we tack on maintenance and management, we have total operating expenses of $68,000. And so we can now calculate our NOI at $161,000. Knowing our NOI, knowing what the property sold for, we can now calculate a capitalization rate or a cap rate. So the cap on this building was 5.3, which is really quite high. It's really quite high. So that's telling me that there were some issues with the building, okay? The operating expense ratios were about uh, 30%. They're good, that's very good. Um, it sold for 13 times the gross, 19 times the net, kind of average-ish. Uh, and here's something that's really quite extraordinary. Somebody could buy this building and have a positive cash flow with only 27% down. In this case here, that equals $822,000. So we do our calculations to determine what that uh, mortgage payment is based on uh, obtaining a mortgage of 5.2% amortizing in over 25 years. And what that does is it gives us an annual debt service, fancy way of selling what are your mortgage payments over the course of a year. So our ADS is $158,000. And that gives us a positive cash flow of $2,000. $888, and it gives us a positive ROI of 0.35%. Thank you for watching.